Happy Wednesday, July 23rd. I'm downtown Bloomington and we have hit a record in daily COVID cases, which a thousand new cases being recorded. We, uh, that changed my lunch plans today because I was heading into the uptown and they had decided to take a little break today. So I went to the Rumpel Spoon instead and now I'm just about to go home. But I happened to notice some beautiful artwork on the street and so we're going to just take a moment out to talk about uh, life on the street and uh, what it can inspire, okay? So one second I'd like to introduce you to a new friend of mine, David. <laughs> hey David, how's it going? I'm doing well. So do we have a deal I get to give you $20 for a piece of your awesome artwork over here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, because I'm going to take the COVID one around the corner about the times, Where right? Want. And also maybe um, a second, I was going to give you a piece. Well, that's super um, sweet. I usually do that because uh, we've been out here seven months and I just like to get it out there. So if people buy one, I give them one that I have over there, kind of like sketches or F done ones or one that they, they, they can pick out of the pile that I have. Okay, cool. Um, I told you, I, I kind of confess that usually I don't give money out on the streets because I've got my own experiences with addiction and I just, uh, I don't want to enable anybody, but I want to support everybody and, and treat people like humans and we all have the right to be on the street is my 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 idea but up in indy to a certain to to a, to a pretty big degree downtown and and to somewhat down here um because i used to run around on kirkwood see i grew up here um when a homeless population swells to a certain point in commercial areas um and it gets to a point where business owners are concerned or they feel like it like it puts a puts a damper on the fun or something you know what I mean uh, what is your advice for people that feel that way in terms of positive ways to move the whole thing forward well actually Bloomington the city did an amazing job by themselves I mean they, they have the, the no panhandling sign and they did clean up Kirkwood there's no homeless people on Kirkwood so I see more, like a few, isn't, I see a few. I've seen like a couple even on my walk between here and Muscle Spoon but a, a, year, a year or two years ago, there could be 15 or 20. Really? So we're talking about five or six now. Okay. Four or five, four or five blocks. So it's it's like, a lot better than it has yeah, been. Yeah, less than, for, you know, less, like less than. So the city did some positive things? I mean, they Absolutely. didn't just hang up signs, did they? Is there, are there, is there, is no, there actual not, assistance just, for people who need it? They, there's actual assistance. At, well, so it go both ways. It's talking about the city, though. They, they enforced it. So the, the business owners called it. And the police showed up. You weren't allowed to be doing those things. And that just shoot them away. Now, where they went, yes. They're allowed in the park. They're allowed. There's plenty of services. There's a um, wheeler for uh, overnight. Uh, there's emergency shelters. There's uh, when the summer comes on, they just sleep on the farm. You see, legally, you can sleep on city property no matter what. Anyways, as long as you're okay, you might get wellness checks from the police officer. But other than that, you're okay. Like just whatever. Mm -hmm. At a certain point, in, you know, evening. Um, plenty of food. You cannot starve in Bloomington. There's free groceries. There's food pantries. The churches can bring food. I know three churches. Four blocks where I'm sitting, they get food away uh, once a week, so that's what four days a week, three days a week. Okay. So get a bag full of groceries. Yeah. So that's groceries. I mean, and then there's meals, hot meals, food kitchen, and um, shalom center. Shalom center serves breakfast, and lunch, seven days a week now, I believe. Well, thanks for being open for answering my my probing questions. Um, I bet you have a very interesting point of view uh, from this vantage point. This this alley I've been playing in since I was a kid. I. Uh, I wonder, is there anything that you've been seeing on the streets recently that you want to share with the people? You know, no, just that maybe maybe humanity is intact. Like, people want to say, like, oh, is, is, is man inherently good or man inherently bad? And I will say man is inherently good. Although some days, a thousand people might walk by and nothing, but that doesn't mean that, you know, the very next day, you know, uh, uh, 12 people can, uh, you know, save a life. Or one person, you know what I mean? I like but, that. Uh, so humanity's intact. Hey, hey, right here is an example. The delivery guy. Hey, delivery guy. Good. Thank you, man. I didn't mean for you to run. I saw you uh, bolt last week. I was like, oh, man. Yeah. Leave it. Thank you. I'm going. You want yep. something to drink? Yes, please. Thanks a lot, um, again, for taking the time. And I'm going to let you get your refreshing beverage. And uh, I'm going to pay you for your art, okay? It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, David.